Across all parliamentary workplaces, 40% of women have been sexually harassed compared to 26% of men. Some cohorts in the parliament are particularly vulnerable with staffers and women parliamentarians at highest risk. Women we spoke to told us they felt lucky when they had not directly experienced sexual harassment or sexual assault. Misconduct is often dealt with as a political problem rather than as a people issue. As a result, we heard that people are often punished for reporting misconduct, while others are protected, rewarded or even promoted for engaging in misconduct. There is also a worryingly low level of reporting, indicating that it's not safe to speak. Only 11% of people who'd experienced sexual harassment in a parliamentary workplace reported their experience. Like anyone who works in this building, I, I find the statistics that are presented there, of course, appalling and disturbing. I wish I found them more surprising. Um, but I find them just as appalling. And that's why the actions, I think, that are recommended do cover all the territory that enables us to take us forward. And what I've seen in there has only reinforced my view about the actions that we've already taken.